so class 10 today we are going to start with a letter of inquiry so what is letter of inquiry letter of inquiries are written to the heads of an institution or of you can say any organization or of to any company in order to inquire about the details sometimes you want to ask about the details of the product sometimes you want to ask example you have to place an order okay then also what you have to do you have to make an inquiry for different kind of models of the product available for uh, the prices of the product that is that you are going to purchase these are different kind of inquiry sometimes you want to start a new course okay and for that you need to have inquiry and ultimately you want to know what are the various charges what are the charges what is the fee whether to be paid in lump sum okay or you can say it is to be paid in installment so many questions are there in your mind okay, that you want to clear so what is the only way to clear these questions it is just to write a, a letter of inquiry to the concerned person who is in charge of that course in the institution or in organization and you will come to know but it is not like that only for courses you are writing sometimes you have to write down Uh, you want suppose you have to undertake a trip you are going to organize a trip for the students of your school or for some of your family members and for that you also no need to know what are the different packages what are the charges for different packages is any discount available or you also want to know uh, where will be uh, the accommodation will be there okay so how you will travel to the destination what will be the different places of sight seeing there so many questions again are there when you have to organize any trip okay and for that also what you have to do you have to write down a letter of inquiry okay so now first of all today in general we are going to start with the format of letter of inquiry so letter you know that there are two types of letters one are informal ones okay so there are two type of letters that is formal and informal ones okay so formal letters informal ones they are written to your friends and relatives they are written to your friends and relatives okay so you are quite informal in tone you can talk about your uh, about your feelings you can talk about whatever Uh, you are feeling about them you can share your feelings what is going on in your mind if you have some planning you can also share with them it means that you are quite informal in tone here okay but now when you are writing formal letters these are written to officials to business heads or to you can say institutional heads and for these reason you should be quite formal with them it means that formal tone is to be used even if you are harsh or with the you can say services provided by the company you should never be harsh okay but your point should be very much clear okay right so you are quite formal in tone okay so completely weigh words okay you have to weigh your words in order to use them for writing formal letters so out of these you can say uh, there are business letters also okay and official letters also and this letter of inquiry mainly it falls in the category of these okay so for this letter of inquiry okay inquiry first of all you will write down sender's address okay sender's address you know that sender's address is always written in three lines including your house number your area and the mid and the city you are living in then leave line write down date okay the format of date you know that it should not be written for example 22 1 to 22 this is wrong one it should be 22nd january 2022 Two. Okay, so in this manner, it must be written. Okay, so you can put comma here. Okay, so it must be written. Then afterwards, the receiver's address. 
then you will also write down receiver's address. Now in receiver's address, okay, what you will write down in receiver's address, it means to whom you are addressing this letter, okay? Just a moment, let me set up this, you can say a bit, yes, now it's fine. So receiver's address, suppose here you are writing uh, a letter for inquiry of a course, okay? Suppose today we are going, suppose you have to undertake uh, undertake any course in graphic design. Okay, so graphic design software, you want to have a course in that short term course in that and for that you are writing. So naturally to whom you will be concerned, you will be concerned with the manager. Okay, the manager. Okay, right. So you will write down the head or the person with the whom you want to conversate and with whom you want to ask. So now in case of, you can say in case of institutions, mainly managers are there in case of companies, but institutions, you can have the director. You can also write down the director because he is responsible to, to further uh, send letters to or letters of information to the concerned persons who are asking for inquiries. Okay. So then afterwards, name of the institution and where it is situated. Again, this you can say receiver's address. You will also write down in three letters. But if you are writing it to suppose to a company, then you can write in it to, you can say to that of the manager. Okay. So afterwards, you can leave line here also. Subject. Okay. Now in case of subject, means what it is. Your subject should be short, precise, accurate, and related to the content. Means what you are going to ask in your letter, it must be clearly explained here or it must be clearly mentioned here so that the person who is reading this letter, okay, he will immediately come to know what are, what is your wish to know. It means that what kind of information you want to draw. Okay. Now, it will be inquiry about, right? So in this manner, you will write down. Then afterwards, the body of letter you will develop. Here will be the body of letter, okay? So now in case of body of letter, as I always tell you that you can formulate three main paragraphs. One is the introductory para, then is the main para, and then the conclusion one, okay? So first of all, first para, that will be your introductory para. Okay, in introductory para, what you will write down, in case of introductory para, you will write down who you are and what is your wish, what you want to do, okay, and why. Okay, so you will mention here. Okay, so but related to it, the one thing that comes to your mind is that from where we have got this information that I have to start this design. It means some advertisement was there in the newspaper. You have seen that advertisement, and then, then finally you have discussed it with your family members, and it comes to your mind. Yes, this course I can pursue. And for that, I need some information. Okay, so for that, you will write down, this is in reference to advertisement or this is with reference to advertisement number you can also mention because in newspapers, whenever advertisements are mentioned, particular number is given because it is arranged in that manner because they know that the persons they will, they want to aspire for inquiries and ultimately they will refer to advertisement. Advertisement number suppose you can write down 1564 in suppose suppose it is in Hindustan Times you will write down in which newspaper it has appeared in Hindustan Times then you will mention dated on which date it appeared okay right so you will write down in this manner that that advertisement was there in the newspaper for that course okay they did this for that course okay and then you will show your wish okay then you will 
present your wish you will present your wish present your wish and why and why you why you want to continue that course and why are you interested in that course okay so for that also you will mention here so suppose how you will write down this is with a this is with reference to advertisement number so and so in dash newspaper dated this and i am interested in graphic design course okay or i am interested in six months graphic design course as the reason why you are interested in that course as i have appeared my plus 2 board examinations or i have appeared my you know plus 2 board they are called a i s c w -E, e all india senior secondary examination okay so right or i have appeared in my 12th board exams and now i have uh, now i have suppose uh, two months at my disposal or you, suppose this is a short term course and i am interested in short term course as i have two months at my disposal two mar two months disposal means that i am free for two months okay yes anshika मैम हम सैल्यूटेशन ऐड करेंगे इसमें ओ यस आई फॉरगेट यस यस सैल्यूटेशन सर ओके यू विल मेंशन हियर सर ओके राइट डियर सर डियर मैम ओके यू कैन ऐड ऑन हियर राइट ओके सो यू विल राइट डाउन इन दिस मैनर ओके दिस इज योर फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ इन व्हिच यू आर राइटिंग दैट हाउ यू कम टू नो अबाउट दिस कोर्स and why you are interested okay as i have two months at my disposal i have three months at my disposal and i want to pursue or i want to continue short term course in graphic design okay now para 2 which is your main para so now in this main para what you will write down in this my main para you will ask about all details you will ask about all the details now what kind of details you will ask okay the thing is what kind of details for course now raise up your hands what details you aspire to ask what are the different kind of details yes raise up your hands what details you want to ask for you can say for a course yes who will tell me what kind of details you want to ask yes wait a minute let me unmute you and don't mute yourself please yes what details you would ask regarding mom we would ask about the timings uh timings please and then whether we can attend the course on How alternate long would the days. course be mother speak little bit louder How long will the course be? Duration of course. It will be duration of course. Whether we can attend the course on alternate days? Yes. Whether whether we can attend whether we can attend the course on alternate days? On alternate days, uh, um, I don't think so. On alternate days, you can say like for example, you are attending on Monday, then you are saying on Wednesday. of course it is a short term course if you are going to attend it on monday alternate days how can it be complete okay more short term of, course more of education yes whether offline or online uh yes pertaining to this condition okay offline or online this can be asked according to the situation right then accommodation suppose it is in another city okay this is the reason why you are asking of the teacher online or offline okay accommodation available qualification yes qualification 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 for of what you can ask about of faculty or faculty faculty means who are the teachers okay right you can come to know because there if they will provide you some brochure if they will provide you some prospect 
prospectus then in that complete information will be there okay then you can also ask about job opportunities job opportunities after the course so now okay fee to be paid in lump sum okay or in installments okay are there any you can say uh, special evening classes you can say hai na suppose you are it is a short term course suppose you are continuing in the morning your coaching classes for for the preparation of any entrance exam okay and for that reason you can also ask about are there any side by side you want to continue in that you can ask for uh availability of evening classes right it depends okay it depends means according to the requirement of the course which you are asking it means that you have to let your brain think yes this is the course and what type of things i need to ask just imagine yourself put yourself into the shoes of that person who is writing the letter okay it means that you will imagine yourself that i am that person and if i need to join that course what i need to ask okay so in this manner you can ask okay now there is one child let me let him enter so haven this is 10th class okay it's not your period you are waiting for such a long time in the waiting room i was just thinking that you will come to know that it is not your period time to leave that class okay english class is fifth period no change in time table so i was thinking that you will come to and leave but still you are waiting you are missing some other class so kindly join that so he has class 10 so you will ask about these details like i have put in commas you will not put in commas you will make proper lines you will use various connectors for example uh, you can start please let me know about the duration of the course and what will be the timings for the course okay and also let me know or, or kindly provide me information about the total fee for the course and whether it is to be paid in lump sum or in installments and and uh, in context to the present situation whether the course will be available offline or online in case offline courses are available how can Uh, practical education will be provided you also need to ask that because in online i don't think so practical education can be provided practicals can be held okay so this is one of the drawback here okay and is there any accommodation facility for the students to join and most importantly please let me know about the faculty as well as the job opportunities after the course it means that you also want to know means what are the future prospects after the course means what jobs you will get after the course okay and um, as i am as i have joined my you can say uh, my special coaching classes for the preparation of so and so you can say exam and and for that is there availability special availability of evening classes for the aspiring students means who are willing to join that course right so this is your second para this is the main para in which you are asking about all the details now i'm utilizing this space as i don't want to rub it so that you can have the clear indication next is the third para okay in which you will conclude that is your concluding para okay so in that you can't talk about much okay you can't speak about much so what you can speak so kindly provide me all the information at the earliest so that i can join the course or hope to listen from you at the earliest there are number of ways you can choose any way to write it down but just remember that you should be very much formal okay right and after that complimentary close that is yours truly kindly see no comma here and the spellings of your truly which is one of the common mistake among students in exams and then your name right is it clear any doubt to any student now is it clear if yes just put your thumbs up okay fine 
right okay good so now let us start with question this was just an overview now let us start with exact question okay so let me utilize this space again okay so here we are going to write down the question okay so question you are writing here is you are a resident of 50p you are a resident of 53 and we know apartments suppose chandigarh okay so note it down the question side by side you have passed all india senior secondary school you have passed all india senior secondary school examination that is plus 2 board all india senior secondary school examination and wishes to join a graphic design course and wishes to join a graphic design course at at modern polytechnic at modern note it down please polytechnic mahanagar commercial complex mahanagar commercial complex pune you come across an advertisement you come across an advertisement regarding admission regarding admission in the above mentioned course in the above mentioned course and write a letter you have to write a letter to the director of the institute director of the institute to to find out all the necessary details right so this is our question here that we are going to write down okay so let us start with this letter fine first of all in your notebooks after uh, first of all let me know that have you written that question you have written it note it put your thumbs up bhumika is saying yes rest what about others 
अंशिका कनिष्का माधव राघव बोथ राघव कृष्णा एंड ऑल राइट ओके फाइन so you have written so let us start first of all start writing down sender's address in your notebooks okay so as sender's address is given here you can note it down from the question please note down sender's address from the question yes who will speak for sender's address who will speak for sender's address yes madhav speak for sender's address yes ma'am speak for sender's address what you have written sender's address from your address 239 dilbag it is mentioned in the question beta it is mentioned in the question yes when you are part friend yes chandigarh three lines it will be there okay so then leave line write down date in your notebooks clear then again leave line write down receiver's address what will be the receiver's address here yes bhumika what will be the receiver's address here yes bhumika speak out baljinder receiver's address can you speak i think some problem it means you people are not so confident to give the answer even it's really very bad yes after writing receiver's address who to whom you are going to write down this letter to the director okay and to whom director of what it will be modern polytechnic pune right so then afterwards leave line write down subject write down subject you will write down subject then afterwards what will be the subject yes what will be the subject here it will be inquiry about okay so what inquiry it is about inquiry about graphic design course you want to ask right it is inquiry about graphic design course okay so next afterwards salutation dear sir then start with para 1 in which you are going to write down where you have come across uh, this uh, advertisement or about the course you get the knowledge and why you are going to start this course now who will speak for that who will speak for that kanishka raise up your hand so that i can unmute you yes where is kanishka Yes, Kanishka, unmute yourself. Anshika, unmute yourself. I don't know why. What's the problem? That why you people are not answering? Yes, yes ma'am. Speak out. this is with the reference to advertisement very good no, ma'am number ma'am number, ma number, number you can okay any number you can this, this is a imaginary one this is with the reference to advertisement number 1564 in hindustan times dated 20 january 2022 okay in which you have in which it was the advertisement was about the graphic design course Hmm. i have passed out i have passed out my all india secondary school examination and wanted to join the course hmm. which would help me in my further education very good okay right so why as all you can write down that i have passed my all india senior secondary school examination 
and now i have two months at my disposal or five months at my disposal okay whatever the time at my disposal means you are free during that time okay now i now the period is over so we will continue it further so write this letter in your notebooks